About 10 years ago, I went from being deeply suspicious of agriculture to becoming the director of millennial engagement for Monsanto. We're growing food more bountifully than we ever have in the history of time, and yet people are afraid and even angry about how their food is being produced. Ultimately, I discovered that modern ag was a force for good, but nobody in the city believed that. That's how I became a public speaker. I was trying to resolve the conflict between modern ag and popular culture. Changes to society always come when there is a group of people, usually on the edges, that believe in an idea so deeply, so much, that they will not rest, they will not have their opinions changed. What I had to do was figure out a way to make these critics feel heard and understood. And when we did this, it worked. People would come hoping that I would fail in this presentation and they would leave shaking my hand and saying thank you for the time I spent there. That's what I teach, a way to think about communication so that when you're in a conflict, people feel heard and you know how to ask the right question to keep the conversation moving forward. I teach audiences how to advocate for their industry, how to get people to listen to you, how to negotiate for what you actually want, and how to create a strategy that enables your entire organization to use these principles and figure out who should we be reaching out to and what do we need to do to change their minds. The same principles that you would apply to talking with your critics apply to meeting strangers and having really deep conversations with your loved ones. Understanding how people know what they know and what it takes to change opinions are the most important skills that you can have to preserve the culture of agriculture. 